Hi, this is M Driven Designer and uh, Actions. Actions has been given an overhaul, so this is the latest on Actions. Um, actions is all about user interaction, what a user can do. It has nothing to do with the programmability of the system. It's just users accessing actions. Uh, the action editor now looks like this. It has some actions already and uh, these are the global actions. And I can add a new global action like this. Here is the name for this selected new global action. And up here is um, a rendered menu of these actions that I have here. So if uh, I were to give this a name, uh, name, it would end up here as a name. And when I click that action, I can make something happen. But maybe I don't want it on the root here in the menu. Maybe I want it uh, down under a sub menu. Well, then you place the, the global action in a menu group. So we have these menu groups. We place it in the views menu group. And now it's there instead. Maybe I don't. Uh, I I want even more a sub level under here. Then I would need to create a new menu group uh, like that, and I will call it sub menu. But since I want it to be under views, I name it views slash sub menu. And I will give it a sort key just to keep things in order. Like that. So views and views submenu. And once I've done that, I can choose views submenu there. And then this one is placed not in uh, directly on the views, but rather under the submenu. So now the name action is there. And uh, um, if I, yeah, so this is how you go about to build up a menu. And to control the order, maybe you would like to show all things to be sorted under the submenu. Or let's try this. Let's move this one into the sub menu as well. So I'll select that one. Now you see show all, show, show view all things. That was an action I had already. Now put that in view sub menu as well. So then there's a the sub menu, and then I have a name and show view all things. And what's the sort order of these? Well, it's the sort order that's given by uh, by sorting these strings. So say that I wanted to show all things be above a name, then I could um, probably just pick this one and say the sort order in the group should be AAA and the sort order for this one should be BBB, for example. That would make sure that uh, I, I get the order that I want. All right, let's pick the, a name. I can either pick it like selecting there or I can pick it by selecting in the rendered menu. Once I have it, I can give it an expression for when it should be enabled, what it should do when it is executed unless I want it to be a navigating action. So uh, I can bring up a view of the view models that I've defined. So view all things, let's bring that up. And 
then I see there's a small icon behind it, a view icon. And uh, I, if I click the uh, if I click the menu, it's just selecting the menu menu action, the global action. But if I click the the button behind it, I get it to navigate to to that view model. Um, like that. So and that's a good way to to find out how your m global actions will build up the the main menu and uh, the things you can set on on it. Uh, the global action can also, if your um, view needs to be needs to have a root object, you need to set it here as an expression. So maybe if uh, you could create a new object or something like that to, to assign it. You can also have an expression on what you should do once the uh, view all things in this case shows. So then there is an action that you could have to set variables in, in the view. And if you check that the view model is modal, then you will have to supply an, an expression for the um, so that we know when um, the OK button in the model should should be enabled. And once you press the OK button, you usually want to do some. Uh, processing of a selection in in the model dialog to to assign to to something else, and then you have that in expression of the model dialog. Of course, uh, another option for an an action is to say that it's a framework action, and then you have to choose from save and refresh, etc. And this is actually what what the standard actions actions are doing here. So this save action, which is called save, if I rename it to save x, I will see save x there and I will see save x here, but the framework action is actually save. So, and uh, normally we just take the name of the action and uh, if you don't have any uh, special needs we will use that because the presentation in this case is just uh, this pattern name within Clamors. So uh, what you can do is add something additional here like uh, hello. The name of the action is still save but, but the presentation uh, of the action will be name hello and when you run it it will actually and, and actually I would would have expected it to be uh, save space hello here but uh, maybe that doesn't quite work in the design time you need to check that if if you want to make sure that you your user is um, sure about executing the action. You can, you can do that here. Uh, are you sure you want to save? Uh, yes, I am. No, not really. And and uh, if we were to execute the, the prototype here, uh, let's just go with nothing. Start, start. And we press save and we can't press it because there's nothing to, to save. So sub menu, show all things, create a thing. Now there should be something to save. You know why I can't save because I chose the pre and the um, 
persistence um, variant to be none and let's just do it like that this and if you don't have any persistence there's nothing to save we are unable to save uh, create a thing now when you press save it will state are you sure you want to save uh, no so and uh, it's a bit different in the different engines um, how much of uh, these things are actually implemented but uh, the basic idea is that you should get the uh, yes and no buttons replaced with with these verbs and also if you want a specific symbol on uh, uh, an action you could have that you could do uh, divisions like here we have these two let's do some more actions number 10 and put that in the same and put that in the same group as well and number nine in the same group then it will look like this maybe you want to divider between these three and those two then you would have a different uh, we just put a divider group let's see mm -mm. so let's say that these are group uh, one and that one is group one as well like that and these are in group nothing so there would be a, a divider put in between them um, and uh, quite often we need to um, we get support uh, from users asking why is this but why, why is this action disabled and then it's good to be able to just um, have a hint stating the specific obvious rule or reason what they should check first and the shortcut key if we want it to be like a, a key with a control key we should have it like that uh, when uh, and that is also not implemented in this preview I see but let's run it here so man and there it is control E for for doing that action right so that's the the global actions but um, actions are shown in two places either the global menu uh, like this this or in a, a view model like here so in the view model you have um, this section which you fold out like that and uh, here you see the actions that navigate that that will open this view model so there's a, a view one thing and um, that that's the name of the view and that's the name of the action and here's a class accent action cl thing view one thing so if i were to change to the view all things i will see views sub menu show view all things this was the action that uh, we saw before and this is the action that i added if i double click that one 
I get back here and that this one is selected. And it's the global actions. If I double click the other one, that one is selected. So that's that's an easy way to, to jump to the definition of the action. Uh, here is a, a triangle uh, with a yellow color. If you click that one, you get a detailing of the actions of this box here in a new window like this and if you now select something here like that the create thing action you see uh, its name and uh, a few settings since this is a, a view model action uh, we can see that by it say, stating the view model action uh, there's a few settings on it but uh, what the action does and how the menu looks and where it is placed all these things are shared from the global actions so if I create new view model actions they will pop up here since they are view model actions and they are able to show anywhere really in the view model and since I have two levels uh, one here and, and the nesting this is the root uh, view model level and this is a nesting level if I were to add new uh, levels the action could show in even more places let's see if I can do something here uh, Add nesting multi links, and I'm gonna add another level. So now I have a three levels where the action can show, and that's probably not what I want because a view model action is probably intended for a certain area like when I select something in this grid then it's important to, to show the, the action show, so the normal thing is to actually set the only on this level for for this one only on level view all things so what that means is that it's only gonna be shown on, on the top let's take this one and say that it's on level one level down, all thing. And watch what, watch what will happen with this one. It disappeared, and it's still there. So let's do that with this one as well. So this is uh, the way we need to work uh, with the actions to to place them to to make them show where we want and uh, nowhere else. So if we hadn't, if we would like to show the action on multiple places, we can do so by leaving this blank. But then we can opt out. Uh, the action from a certain place if we want to so I don't want it to be on this third level okay then I just remove it from there and that's actually the same as uh, opting it in or out this way you see and this checkbox uh, changes so on this side there are the available actions that may or may that have been opted out like this uh, all right but we're gonna remove this one but like that and I'm gonna remove that okay um, so two kinds of actions the view model actions that we 
primar primarily use in a view model and the global actions which we see in the main menu. But then we have a third kind of action. And that is the kind of action that is um, decided if it should show based on type. It's quite common to, to use type-based actions. And now we have this little triangle in all the classes. So if I were to click uh, this one, I get yet another uh, action defining window actions on class thing because that was the, cl the class I pressed and we can create uh, class actions like this or uh, just press undo to remove them so for this action add detail I can see that we have view models with type information that will make it possible for it, this action to show in all these places. So that's the thing with the class actions that they will show depending on type. This means that if I were to create a new view uh, that has the type thing then this would also be possible to th this would this view would match the criteria to show the uh, the class action for for things all the class actions for thing so this one can show in in view model one and that one can show show in view model one this is very powerful way to not needing to explain everything to every view because uh, it will put actions depending on type information. So if this one had a nesting, I'm just going to add a, a nesting of that also has thing then this um, we got yet another row for uh, view model one dot all thing and it will show up these actions will show up here and of course I can opt them out because maybe I don't want them on every level so I can opt it out like that and what happens when I opt out is that uh, Basically, the, the checkboxes here are uh, checked out. So another way to to opt them back in, so to speak, is to check the boxes here, like that. Okay. Mm. And uh, here as well, you have... Uh, a sub menu to, to open the view model that we are talking about like this and also in this area when the action is a navigating action uh, you can click this uh, this icon to to get to, to that uh, view model so this enables you to navigate around your application without executing it and as your model grows you will find uh, it's very common that you have the need to to find to follow the same routes that uh, your users are using uh, in order to find things and then you would probably just go to the global menu go to the views find the thing that your user is using and press that and then you can design things about this view and maybe you want to do something more about what the action does in that view then you just click it up and you can uh, 
enter the execute expressions here. So that's the new things, uh, how actions are structured and uh, how you can, can work with them to, um, to build up your application. Thank you.